Hi, good day everyone. This video is about circular permutations. So this is actually case number 4 na ating topic na permutations. So according to this one, the number of circular permutations of n different things is given by this formula. So that is n minus 1 factorial. Okay, um, yun yung pinakasimple formula na meron tayo. For example guys, um, let's say we are asked to arrange 5 set of letters A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so I have here two set of figures wherein in a range ko yung A, B, C, D, and E into circular form. So actually, yung first tsaka second figure natin is same lang. Okay, they're actually the same. Why? Yung value ng A natin, tinan nyo, yung value ng A is sumusunod palagi sa B. Okay, same sa ating second figure, yung A sumunod sa B, and then B lies between A and C. So, same din sa pangalawang figure natin. In short, pa, pag pa-counterclockwise, tsaka clockwise, magkakasunod yung ating mga letters A, B, C, D, and E. So, this is actually an example of distinguished um, permutation, circular permutation. So, ito yung formula na ginagamit kapag ganun yung case natin. So, let's try to answer some problem. Okay, for example, number one. Um, the question is, in how many ways can five students be seated around a circular table? Again, your first task is to determine the value of n. So, ano yung value ng n mo? Yun yung total number ng pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, dito we have 5 students. Automatically, n is equals to 5. Okay, after that, just use our formula. Again, our formula is p is equals to n minus 1 factorial. So, yun lang yung pinaka-formula. So, let's substitute the value of n and simplify. So, we have n as 5 minus 1 factorial and this is equals to 4 factorials. Okay? And 4 factorial is equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, by simplifying this one, the answer is 24. Okay? So, for this given problem, we have 24 distinguishable permutations. Okay? Next, for item number 2, let's um, solve similar problem lang. Okay? In how many ways can 8 people be seated at a round table? Again, step number 1, identify the value of n. We have 8 people, n is equals to 8. Just use our formula. Formula is p is equals to n minus 1 factorial. Just substitute the value of n. We have 8 minus 1 factorial. And we have 8 minus 1 that is equal to 7 factorial which is equals to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 3, 2, and 1. Okay? This is for calculator. So, or, um, i-multiply natin lahat ng numbers dito. This is equals to 5,040. Okay? So, that is the value of 7 factorial or 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 up to 1. Okay? We have 5,040 ways. Okay? So, ganyan kapag distinguishable yung ating problem. So, again, if the counterclockwise and clockwise orders can be distinguished, then we will use this given formula. Okay? Kapag distinguish siya. Now, let's try to answer this problem number 3. Okay? In how many ways can 5 keys be arranged in a key ring? This is actually yung second concept natin. So, again, if you want to use the previous concept, which is circular permutations, wherein kapag distinguishable yung ginamit natin, again, your first step is to determine the value of n, we have 5 keys, n is equals to 5. Okay? Kapag ginamit natin yung concept na yan, we have p is equals to 5 minus 1 factorial, or simply 4 factorial, and that is equals to 24. Okay? Which is possible naman. But this time, okay, sa paglalagay natin ng um, mga suses sa keyring natin, so yung arrangement or orders ng clockwise and counterclockwise cannot be distinguished. Okay? So, pwede kasing maiba or malilito tayo kung ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga kinayan. So, if that's the case, we will use our second formula, which is additional value lang sa ating previous concept. So, our second formula is P. Okay? For an, um, this is for um, circular permutations wherein um, hindi madidistinguish yung orders ng ating mga um things na pinag-uusapan. So, this, this is equals to P, okay, is equals to N minus 1 factorials all over 2. I-divide mo na siya by 2. Ganun lang simple. Okay? So, let's substitute this value again. Um, let's simplify. That is equals to 5. Okay, N 
we have 5 minus 1 factorials divided by 2 so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so we have 4 factorials divided by 2 um, by simplifying 4 factorials equals to 24 all over 2 therefore the answer is 12 this time we have 12 possible orders or arrangement okay so yun siya yun yung kapag um, kiling yung ating um, mismong problem so next for example number 4 para mas makita natin okay in how many ways can 6 diamonds be arranged on a necklace okay so what if ganito yung problem natin again let's try to answer this one so let, um, let's um, write the value of n okay we have 6 diamonds therefore n is equal to 6 and then kung isipin natin um, in this case forming a necklace wherein yung clockwise tsaka yung counterclockwise arrangement ay hindi natin madidistinguish okay kasi pwede natin lagyan kabilaan yung mga uh, yung ating necklace ng mga diamonds okay so dito gagamitin natin yung previous concept natin yung securing so that is equals to p okay our formula is p is equals to n minus 1 factorials all over 2. So, yun ang nadagdag. I-divide mo na siya by 2. So, by simplifying this, okay, this is equals to 6 minus 1 factorials all over 2. And 6 minus 1 is equals to 5 factorials all over 2. So, 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equals to 120 divided by 2. Therefore, we have 60. Okay, ways for this given problem. Alright, so that is circular permutation. Thank you so much and God bless.